because I wanted to show you guys like my morning routine, like what I do in the morning, my face routine. Um, but in the middle of recording it, my phone literally was like, girl, you ain't got enough storage. So get out of there, Bo. Come on. Bo, get out. And another thing too, y'all, yesterday, this is another thing. This bathroom is so loud. Every time you put the, the light on, it literally like makes a bunch of noise. I've been getting like really red lately. I've been like breaking out and stuff. Let's see, this is too much light. Oh, it's not that bad. Um, and yesterday I used this Tula skincare y'all when i tell y'all this made me look so good yesterday and this was i literally put it here 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 and like right here like just on all my red spots and it made it disappear so nicely i didn't need any concealer i put some powder on like just to set it in place and i put a little bit of blush and y'all i was done i sprayed myself with a little setting spray and I was out the door, literally a five minute routine. And I used my fingers to put this on, like it blended in my skin so well. So I definitely am probably gonna be using this more often, maybe like for work or um, just when I need something really quick and I don't have time to do my makeup, this. And also too, in my Ipsy bag that I want to try, I've been, I've been kind of wanting to get into more like simple skincare, simple makeup routines, nothing crazy, nothing major, unless like I'm going somewhere like a ball or a gala or something. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I think it's Ipsy. This is the Alicia Keys, Keys Soul Care. It's like skin two in one concealer in tint. And this is in the shade 260 in and i want to try this i haven't tried this yet um this is a really good one like if you're looking for like some foundations but they're more so geared toward like being a part of your skincare like a tinted moisturizer this is another really good one this is the urban decay stay naked hydromaniac tinted glow hydrator this is a good one and i have dry skin so anything that i do i need it to be glowy or i need it to be moisturizing this is another good one by Too faced this is the born this way healthy glow and a cheaper option to y'all the wet and wild tinted hydrator this one is pretty good also you just have to make sure you set them in place if you, as long as you set them in place you're good to go but really good i got this one in my ipsy bag too the tula all these expensive stuff i got them in my ipsy bag y'all ipsy is that girl if you are not subscribed to ipsy you need to and if you are like really big into like uh skincare makeup perfume um what else have i gotten i've gotten like body care items and it's 30 dollars a month or like 36 dollars a month and you get full size products name brand stuff so like your box might be worth 300 dollars, but you only pay 30 you only pay 30 dollars. so that is my key to not shopping too much because yeah i get my ipsy box every month and i look forward to it i've gotten all kinds of stuff in there but just in case i don't post what's in my phone uh today is sunday i'm about to get ready to do some laundry maybe make me some coffee i normally do like to go walk in the neighborhood too but i woke up too late to do that it's like almost 10 o'clock if it's not 10 o'clock already and i like to get up really early like before anybody gets outside because once it gets around this time everybody and their mama be outside and i don't like walking outside when everyone is outside i just don't 
I like having peace and quiet. Nobody's mowing their grass. Nobody's walking their dog. It's just me and God and the breeze. That's what I like to do. But I woke up too late, so I probably won't do that. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. on my last nerve because I just finished cleaning up as y'all can see and now he's coming up to me talking about oh I'm hungry I'm hungry I'm hungry mom we haven't eaten anything yet and I'm like okay Kingston okay so I said do you want some biscuits we have biscuits we got eggs um we have one turkey sausage patty okay and we have some other sausages but they have pork in them and then we have some beef wieners and i was like kingston they got one turkey sausage he was like i don't like that i said okay well i said well they have the pork sausage i said but i'm not cooking no pork because we don't eat pork so there's what oh okay so i told kingston like okay so do you want some wieners in biscuits and eggs and he was like yeah okay sure i'll have wieners and i said well okay anyway wieners and waffles like who does that so i'm about to ball this boy some wieners because he could keep them that's the combination he wants and then he proceeds to say he's watching annie y'all the newer one with jamie fox in it He's watching Annie and the little girl is on the part where she's singing at, at the little ball or whatever. And I just did a little one two ad lib, like, ah. and then Kingston was like, Mom, you could be the white Annie. They already got a white Annie. Why he had to play me like that? The Kingston. But why? I don't know. Wait, Mom, not even white. Why? 
why why does he why does he say stuff like this i don't know but well, that is that's what i deal with guys kingston and his antics i'm about to boil some wieners because this boy wants wieners and eggs and waffles so i'm gonna make me some coffee what time it is oh it's still early it's 10 47. so i'm about to make me some coffee and i don't think i'm gonna post what i posted this morning and i think i said what i said. i don't even remember y'all i got such a short term memory it's a shame i do not remember what i told y'all this morning but um i don't even know if i'm gonna post what i recorded yesterday honestly i don't know because the quality of it was just so stupid and the sound was just not there like i don't know I might post it just to get it out of my phone and then I probably won't be using my cell phone to record again, like ever again, because. But we don't have anything planned for today. Um, Hezzy is still working on my car because he tried working on it yesterday and it still died again. So we're gonna he's gonna work on it again today and hopefully what he's doing today fixes it y'all it's not yeah. and your horn like how long has it been since your horn isn't working yeah the horn don't work either y'all the that car is like oh it gave me the best of years but like, how long has it been it. it's been five years well it's going on five years but the car is a 2012 so how old would it be? And y'all, but I don't have a car note. So that's what's making it so hard for me because there's I don't have I don't pay a car note. No. So I'm I don't want to have to get a new car, but I think that's what I'm gonna have to do, y'all. How old is your car? I just told you. It was it was born in 2012, so it's 12 years old. 12? Yeah. No. Uh -huh. It's 12 years old. But I've only, but I've been having it for five years. How long is it? How old is Grammy? Uh, me and Grammy got the same year, I think. Uncle Pie. Uncle Pie. Mm. Mm. He ain't got no call. Okay. Because something wrong with his cow. Mm -hmm. Just like Grammy's, so just like yo. <laughs> Keeps been putting everybody on front street, y'all. Everybody Three car. People. Everybody car is a mess. Daddy car is a mess. Yep. We just need new cars, y'all. But like yes. I said, I don't feel like, like using literally. my money to go and pay a monthly car note. I don't have time. So, but like I said, we're just gonna chill. I'm gonna clean up some more. Uh, I was gonna mop and vacuum, but I'm not gonna do that until it's time to go to bed because throughout the day it's gonna get dirty again. So there's no point in doing it and it's gonna get dirty again tonight so um and i'm probably gonna clean the bathrooms y'all saw me start on a batch of clothes so i'm gonna be washing clothes all day so like i said today is a cleanup day i cooked last night so i don't have to cook today um so yeah it's just gonna be a chill Y'all, I don't know what the hell I just did, but I did like a pig in a blanket type action with the biscuits and the wieners because, I don't know, eggs and wieners just don't sound good to me. I don't know what the hell Kingston was talking about. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I just did with the cheese and the wieners and the biscuits. And we're gonna see what that tastes like, guys, because Eggs and wieners, Kingston, please. And my thing just went off on my clothes, so I need to go and check on the clothes. While those bad boys are in the oven. So, quick update. 
having another crazy day y'all so like i was telling y'all i'm cleaning up i do my laundry all that stuff i go to put my clothes in the freaking dryer and the dryer not turning on y'all the dryer is not working so this is what we're doing today yeah we're using our hair dryer just <laughs> the ghetto the ghetto I don't know how is it not working and this is where I got my clothes all of my clothes okay cause I don't feel like going to the washeteria and I don't have no coins I don't have no bill I don't have I don't have it I don't have it so yeah So we're eating this chicken pepper soup I found the recipe on Instagram y'all and it definitely gives me gumbo but not gumbo because it has more of like an herby flavor um, I think this is like a Nigerian dish correct me if I'm wrong I'm not sure I know when I googled pepper soup I think Nigeria or Ghana or something came up but it looked really good I don't have any chicken in mind right now I used uh, drumsticks because I just don't feel like eating chicken right now I might have some later on tonight whenever we have leftovers but I cooked this last night while I was drinking my little double XL wine uh, if y'all know about that double XL wine let me know down in the comments because baby that wine don't play no games like it had me feeling like I was a five-star chef in that kitchen last night but y'all as y'all can see another trying day y'all and it's only two o'clock in the afternoon like I don't know bro I'm drinking a coke a regular one cuz it's been a rough day already. I'm drinking this new Oreo one. Show them all. Yeah. Has he found Coke Oreo at the store last night? And honestly, it does not taste like Oreos. It really just tastes like a, a Coke vanilla. And it's zero, so I mean, um, I guess that's fine. I do love vanilla Coke, and that's kind of what it reminds me of. But I let Kingston have it because I'm expecting it to taste like an Oreo. Why are you calling it an Oreo if it don't taste like an Oreo? But whatever, Coca-Cola. Literally. Whatever. Um, so yeah, y'all. Um, I decided I'm not gonna post the content that I recorded yesterday because of how poor the quality of it is. So I'm just gonna give y'all a quick recap of what happened yesterday. Rozzy had her first um, initial meeting with Alpha Kappa Alpha. She is joining their Youth Leadership Institute. And first of all, y'all, phenomenal program, phenomenal. Um, it teaches them leadership skills, decision-making skills, um, it talk, they talk about social justice, they talk about financial literacy, they do different projects every time they meet, they meet once a month and it starts from now until June of next year. They have to put together a final presentation, um, they do community service. Uh, it gives them opportunities to meet with other organizations and get involved in other aspects of the community. Y'all, great program. And it's free. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for her to join that. It's for any boy or girl ages 11 to 13. But this year, it looks like it's more girls than anything. But... I'm so excited. Rosie's so excited to be a part of it. She's getting more out there, y'all. And I'm so happy that she is because just a couple years ago, y'all, like when I tell you, Rosie did not want to go outside. She didn't want to go to the store. She didn't, she just wanted to stay in the house. She didn't want to join no clubs, nothing. But 
she's 13 now she's in the eighth grade and she's finally i guess trying to find her voice and she's getting really interested in like the medical field and she's interested in joining different clubs and stuff so i'm happy about that uh she's on the dance team this year for her school so she's really putting herself out there and i love that for her and i'm excited about it i'm very excited about it uh, other than that, we didn't do anything yesterday. Hezzy tried fixing my car and that didn't work. So, he just tried fixing it again. He had to order another part. And he's out there fixing it again. Almost done. Hopefully, everything is okay and I can drive it without any problems. Because I already told y'all in the previous video about how horrible my day and weeks and stuff you know all that has been just horrible and trying y'all and i'm just really praying that there's a breakthrough coming because it's too much at one time y'all it's too much and it, and, it's, and it gets discouraging but we here and i'm just gonna move forward and thank god for the day and thank god for tomorrow because yep so we're eating our lunch we're eating our pepper soup and that's it for now y'all what's up you guys it's the next day it's monday i just got off from work y'all and when i tell y'all i well first of all I, I realized i didn't even like finish the video from yesterday i just kind of stopped recording and um yeah it's the next day and i feel horrible i feel so nauseous i feel like i'm about to just all over the place i don't know i get like that like a few days before my cycle starts this is something new that i have been experiencing since hitting 34 um these new symptoms and stuff when your cycle is about to start is like insane it is despicable it's horrible oh uh, so yeah i just changed my clothes really quickly and i'm laying down in the bed and i'm about to watch uh the rest of this jaguar right video who in here watches jaguar right y'all jaguar right can't say or do nothing wrong no jaguar right slander will be tolerated here on this channel baby because everything she say either has happened is happening or will happen like she be she be telling the truth y'all she really she be knowing it she was there for everything because sis be knowing all the tea and she's not scared to say what is on her mind she's not scared to say what everybody else be wanting to say uh so i just watched one that she did that came out like five or six days ago and i realized i missed one that she did a few months ago so i'm in the middle of watching that one so i'm about to just lay down and try to relax and get my mind off of this nausea so that i can uh relax a little bit and watch this video and uh yeah see if these kids need my help with homework and whatnot we still eating on that soup so i don't have to cook i'll probably gonna have to i'll, I'll probably what gee whiz i'm probably gonna have to cook tomorrow but i don't know how well that's gonna work because rosie has dance practice tomorrow and she wants to go to a volleyball game tomorrow so i don't know what time i'm gonna be getting home so i may or may not cook tomorrow either i don't know but our dryer is still on um you know the blink we're gonna probably get somebody to come out and look at it um the clothes dried pretty good though on the sofa so i mean pfft, bump a dryer who needs a dryer you don't need the dryer when you have natural air please just dry your clothes on the sofa <laughs> just air dry your clothes duh shoot spending all that money on the dryer girl you don't need no dryer that's what I'm telling myself to hype myself up with. 
and y'all i drove my car today and she drove real smooth she didn't stop on me so i'm in a good mood today okay i'm in a i'm in a pretty good mood today besides the nausea i'm in a pretty good mood today so i want to end the video on a good note so thank y'all for tuning in i love y'all Thank you to all of those who have been rocking with me and who watch all the videos. I love y'all so much. I thank y'all for sticking beside me, even though I don't be posting consistently. But as you can see, y'all, I'm trying and I'm trying to get back into the groove of things because I miss y'all and I miss posting. So I hope it's not too long before I see you guys again. And in the meantime, make sure y'all follow me on all of my social medias. And until next time, peace.